got my brother TJ here with me, and uh, he was gonna capture my first thing. Oh, you got it? Of course I got it. This is my brother. How's it going? Holy shit. Oh my god. That is something else. It's not as tall as I thought. I, for some reason I had this feeling yeah. like it'd be up here. Are you ready for this? I guess so. 15 months I've been waiting yeah, for this. That's crazy. 10 years ago, it wasn't an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Way. Yep. Yep. Where to? Or when to? Okay, so we've got the windows. There's a uh, flux capacitor, which, as you know, is what makes time travel possible. These are the circuits so you can plug in, like, what's your birthday? Well, I should know this. October 17th, 86. So 10. 17th, 1986, we're going to say 12 o'clock at night, and then I think, yep, so we could go to the day you were born, and then when you actually travel through time, that moves down, so this is where, as, as Doc Brown said, this is where you're going, this is where you are, this is where you were, if I remember correctly, <laughs> and then there's a little dial, so this actually goes with the car when you're driving, up to 88 and then when you hit I this, doubt this car could go to 88 I think it could Not but hour. have to get up on the Coquihalla where you can, might be able to so now driving through time and everything goes off I thought there was a sound effect for that so now here we are now we're now you'd be your birthday in 1986 and then this will reset I think it's this one watch the outside let's just go through the various switches here Something turned on there. Oh, that's the inside here. Ready? Now it should idle down a little bit. All right, let's get going right away. All right, thanks again. If we run out of gas, we are Who's a good boy? Who's a good car? <laughs> I'll never get tired of that. 